Welcome back. I'm going to do something unusual today. I came across a couple of videos while I was scrolling through the internet on YouTube and I'm going to do a reaction video to just a little fair use reaction video just for educational commentary and reaction purposes. The homeless crisis in America is, is it is what it actually is. It's a crisis. Something has to be done about this. I mean, this is th these these are uh, scenes you would expect to see in like some third world hellhole, not in the quote unquote greatest country in the world. I'll just start by saying this: every empire falls pretty much the same way. The template, the roadmap, have been set. For like the failure of, of empires and it seemed like every empire is cursed to do the same thing america has its own stage right now of imploding itself from the inside so america is so powerful militarily so they're not going to be conquered by someone trying to invade them or blow them or whatever because that'd be that that that'd spell doom for us the, the entire earth is going to go 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 ablaze if that happens all the countries the enemies don't even have to invade them to bring the empire down because they're doing a well enough job for themselves the corruption is unbelievable in that country when you're from a third world country like i am and you watch the news all day especially foreign news they're always talking about the corruption of this country the corruption of that country we have to go topple that government because they're corrupt <laughs> you grow up watching that and you have the idea this whole Captain America mentality that America is the savior of the world, that you just go over to this world and topple bad governments, terrorist governments, and try to bring democracy to them on some Avengers type stuff. That's far from the truth. The older you get, the more you realize that these people are invading all these countries, <laughs> subjecting those people to abject poverty. And but still you expect, all right, they're going to share the loot. At least their people, their citizens, should believe in better. Like the Saudis living in some very comfortable, beautiful environment. But that's not the case because of greed. You know, the country's overextending themselves militarily, which every empire does in their last days. The moral decay gets so high, they invade lots of countries, start wars, drain their resources by themselves, and they forget to look inwards. Why their societies crumble. See bridges in America that needs renovation. That have needed reno uh, renovation for decades. But they don't care about that. In a, in a country where you have one person's worth 200 billion or something. You have people living on the streets. In a very very sad state of life. And what's even worse is the entire homelessness in the country can be solved by... 30 billion would solve the entire homeless problem in America. And people are asking, why? Why this? Why is America like this? Why is there so much poverty and stuff like that? The poverty has skyrocketed in the past couple of in the past couple of years since the man in charge took over or since he was placed there. Putin said Putin said Trump seemed like a good person that would want to make changes. But when he gets in office and the people in dark suits that really run America take him into a room and tell him how things really work. He wouldn't be able to implement any of what he wants to implement. This is what Putin said. And he's very correct. So people that are still on, uh, under the illusion that they live in a democracy in the US or in the, any Western world. Come on, man. Democracy is just... It's like a blanket. That's what, that's what democracy is. It's a blanket, a cloak... For covering what the system of government actually is. But it's merely an autocratic oligarchy. That's what it is. You're being ruled by decree. You're not select you're not electing your president. People your presidents are being elected by the oligarchs and placed there for their own benefits. The people in Capitol Hill and Wall Street and you know, they start wars so they can launder money. Through and to their pal, no, no, their pals, their friends in the military industrial complex. That's pretty what, much what war is. It's a racket. No war has ever been fought to liberate anybody. 
all wars have been fought for resources. This is so sad, man. There's no way a citizen should be living like this. Isn't this the most powerful country in the world? I'm talking too much, man. Let me, let me see what this video is about. Over the past few years, there's been a big spike in the number of people living on the streets in Denver, in places that were once clean and safe. The state of Colorado estimates that on any given night, there's about 10,000 people living without shelter here, but that number is actually pretty hard to measure. Can you hear that? 10,000 people in every, any given night. I'll just breeze through this so you can see. It's not just California where you get this tent cities like crazy. It's, it's spreading around now like wildfire. And people might say, oh, they're just junkies and this, that, this, that. A lot of them are down on their luck. Like a lot of them just park in the streets in their cars and just sleep in their cars because they can't afford to rent a place, especially after the pandemic, because a lot of people lost their jobs. How can you get a job? You're going to get a job and they're asking you for your for your address. If you don't have an address or show utility bill with your address on it and your name on it, if you can't show that, you can't get a job. So if you don't have an address, you can't get a job. If you don't have a job, you can't get an address. So you see, the system is set <laughs> to screw the regular people. Not the people living in the mansions driving Teslas. No, just the average regular people. The middle class this period has been totally decimated, man. The middle class is pretty much gone. It's gone. It's gone. What I would advise anybody right now, especially black people, because I'm one of them, save up some money and leave. <laughs> just leave. One, there's lots of people living in areas that you'll never see. And a lot of times there's family who are living in hotel rooms or living in their cars and they won't want to be counted. So it's likely this number's much higher. Mm -hmm. In fact, another report said the Denver metro area had 30,000 people who had accessed homeless resources last year. Again, there's no real way of getting an exact count, but it's estimated that Colorado has seen an 8% rise in homelessness in the last decade. Colorado's cold, isn't it? It's cold as cat's balls out there. It's estimated that about a quarter of the homeless population in Colorado is chronically homeless. Like, they've been living on the streets for years now, and they're going to continue to do so. Because for many, it's a lifestyle choice. Despite how you feel about the cost of living or the lack of resources for the chronically homeless, it's true that a large part of the homeless population simply wants to live a life like this. And of course, in Colorado, a big reason for the number of people who are homeless here is legal marijuana. The state saw a big surge in its population when marijuana became legal. Now, Nevada is another state that legalized marijuana, and it's had an impact on the state's homeless population, too. Now, there's fewer homeless people in Nevada than in Colorado, but the population... Stay away from that weed, man. You need, you need to have a clear mind. And you shouldn't, you shouldn't take any substance that's going to make you all foggy and, you know, chilled and mellow and... Take away your drive. Stay away from it, man. Please. This is Kensington in uh, Philadelphia. Uh, someone told me to check this video out. And look, that look at that brother right there. He's shooting right there. Oh, man. Jeez. It's like, this is like a scene from The Walking Dead. Wow. You're going to have kids walking around seeing this all day. Oh. Oh. Man. Wow. Oh. When you have a people that are like addicted to drugs like this, why would you have a, a government giving giving them a drug starter kit, giving them, giving them free pipes and needles and stuff like that so they can do the drugs, quote unquote, safely? What kind of nonsense is that? You should be trying to get these people help, get them out of the streets, put them in some sort of medical facility where they can heal. So, man, a lot of these people are frust frustrated with life and they use this drugs and stuff just to take away the pain but the, but the thing is after the you come down from the high your troubles are still right there waiting for you it doesn't go away
it's sad. It's really, really sad. This, this is very sad. This is really sad. This is some heavy stuff right here. These are human beings. This is America, though. This is America. I don't know if Childish Gambino said anything about homeless, homelessness in the song. This is America. We should have because this this is America, man. The tourists and the people that go that come to America. This is one of the first things they see. And then reality hits them like whoa, it just came from a from a third world hellhole to another third world hellhole. But this is third world status homeless poverty right here. Isn't Philadelphia where uh, McMill is from? I'm sure he's glad he got out. Do you know how or how Egypt crumbled? Ancient Egypt. They had their neighbors conflict around them. And they had to go and sort out. So they fought all these wars with their neighbors around them. And then at the end of the day, the neighboring country where they do trades with, after the war was over, after those countries were decimated, and those countries didn't have any capital to trade with Egypt anymore, Egypt was left on its own. And no country can stand on its own. If the neighboring country you, you conduct business with all die off because of stupid wars, if those countries fall and you can't trade with any country, you slowly, 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 slowly disappear. That's how ancient Egypt fell. People talking about, oh, they were conquered by this, they were conquered by that. That was way before this. The total collapse of the ancient Egyptian empire was after the neighbors that they warred with, they won the war, the Egyptians won the war. But in the long run, they lost because they didn't have anybody to trade with. Nobody around them to trade with because all the countries around them couldn't afford to trade. So Egypt fell. The same thing America is doing. You've got like a thousand military bases all over the world. You're bullying all these countries. And now all these countries are merging with each other and not want to trade with you. You've got the BRICS nation now. Brazil, uh, Russia, India. I know South Africa is there. You know, you have all these countries coming together to like conduct business for themselves because they've been screwed. They're coming together now to trade by themselves and they, they don't want to F with the US anymore. Because they're tired of being bullied and being told what to do and being harassed. Same thing that happened in ancient Egypt. And America is going down the same path. And now they're just sending a hundred billion to some Eastern European country to fight, to try and use that country as a battering ramp against Russia, which is not going to work. So that country is going to get destroyed. And people are going to look at what's going on right now with that country in America and be like, oh, this is what America is doing. We can't get in bed with them. Because our country is going to end up looking like this Eastern European country that I can't name here. My video is going to get taken down. So they're going to isolate America by not doing business with America. But then all the weapons, all the nuclear weapons and everything you have, it's not going to favor you. Because all these countries have it as well. You're not the top dog on the block anymore. It's like the, it's like the school ground bully, the playground bully. You bully everybody until a bigger bully comes forward. And then you're like, holy crap, I can't do nothing with this one now. And then everybody else see, now sees you for who you are. Just a paper tiger, a coward. For my black people there, man, work, work hard. Work very hard. Do whatever you have to do. Any kind of job you can get your hands on. If, you, if it's washing toilets, go wash toilets. Go do something. Save some money. Save some money. Because one of the advantages now is your your dollar go a long way when you leave the country to somewhere else. Like, save the money and then move out. Leave. Just leave, man. There's a storm coming. Leave. Please, my people. Please. That's the video, guys. It's a long one, but it just had to be said. I'm sorry, guys. That's it. Peace.